Okay, now here's a question from May, June 2017, paper four, variant two. Um, I'm doing this question because I feel that there will be something of this nature in the paper four of June 2018, as there was no questions on percentages or ratios or compound or simple interest. Um, so I decided that I will do this question. Now, Annie and Dermot, Annie and Dermot share $600 in the ratio 11 to 9. Show that Annie receives $330, okay? So when they give you a question like this, you have to make sure that you show your steps very clearly because they already gave you what the answer is. So you have to make the examiner re you know, realize that you know what you're doing. Okay, now, basically, you've got Annie and you've got Dermot. Okay, and Annie receives 11 shares and Dermot receives 9 shares. That's how much they're sharing this by. Now we know in total, it's like there are 20 shares. Okay, and Annie receives 11 out of 20 of those shares. You can say Annie receives 11 out of 20 times the total amount, which is 600. And you know that 20 goes into 630 times, okay, 30, yeah, 30 times, okay, that cancels, that cancels, 2 and 60, 30. So now you've got 11 times 30, which is 330, up to $330. So if you show this step, okay, write it down here. So that's equal to $330. So they're looking for this step here, 11 over 20 times 600. Okay, that's very important to be there. You can't just write the answer down, okay, and do that in your calculator. You have to show your steps, especially when they have already given you the answer. Okay, don't expect to get any marks if you just write down 330 or just 11 to 9 and then write 330. You have to show this step here. Okay, um, some people like to use a visual kind of method ratios which I personally like for those people who like to can picture things all right so you got it's a bit um, fiddly this but like you got this person has got 11 shares got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's a bit longer Another one it should be equal size, but it doesn't matter. Okay, and here you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here, this person has got 11 shares, this person has got nine shares. That's Annie, <coughs> that's Demo. And in total, there's $330 to share. So you think about how many dollars goes in each box. Well, it's going to be, um, sorry, not 330, $600, $600 to share. Okay, so there's $600 to share. And there's 20 boxes to put them in. They must fit in 20 boxes. So 600 divided by 20 gives us 30. So each box contains 30. Okay, each box contains 30. So each of these contains $30. Each of these contains $30. You have 11 times 30, which is 330. Okay, so you can mention that. 600 over 20 equals 30, and then you can say 11 times 30 equals 330. So that's another way of doing the same question, a uh, more visual type, type of way. Okay, Different people understand things in different ways. Okay, Some people like more mathematical, arithmetic, algebraic methods. Some people like more visual methods. Okay, So I'm trying to just incorporate all the different types here. So that's why these questions take a bit longer. I normally show one or two different ways, okay? But I do that on purpose for those people um, you know, who think in a slightly different way than others. Find the amount that Dermot receives. Well, of course, we can say either we can say that's 9 times 30, okay, which is 270. Or we can just say it's 600 minus 330, which gives you the same answer, whichever way you want to choose, okay?
Okay, because the total is 600, and Annie receives 330, Dermot must receive the rest. In either case, you get 270 as your answer. Now it says, Annie invests $330 at a rate of 1.5% per year compound interest. Calculate the amount that Annie has after eight years. Give your answer correct to the nearest dollar. So compound interest, right, compound interest is not like simple interest. With simple interest, the 1.5% would be always of 330. It will always be of the original amount. Okay, so if there's five years, which is 1.5%, percent of 330 and then multiply by the number of years and so on and get the interest okay however when you got compound interest it's 1.5 percent of 330 and then 1.5 of the new value that that 330 became after it raised it increased by 1.5 percent and so on and so on and so forth so basically there's again two ways of doing this one way is to to use your brain say okay it's interest it's increase so you've got 100 percent plus 1.5 percent that gives you 101.5%, which as a decimal is 1.015. It's like 101.5 1 over 100. So you've got 1.015 to the power of the number of years. It increases per year for eight years to the power of eight times the original amount, which is 330. And that will give you your answer. Alternatively, you can say the new value is equal to the original value, which you're going to call P times 1 plus R over 100. And R is the rate of interest, which is 1.5. And N is the number of years, the number of times it increases. So the new value is going to be P, okay, which is 330, times 1 plus R, which is 1.5. You just write the rate without the percentage, because that 100 there takes care of the percentage. To the power of, the number of years, 8. You'll notice that these two are exactly the same. This gives you 1.015. Okay, 1.015, because this goes back two spaces, so it's 1.015, okay, um, to the power of 8. So it's exactly the same thing, it's just a different way of, one is memorizing a formula, and one is just thinking. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the calculator. Where's the calculator on? Okay. And I'm going to just enter this in the calculator. So I'll have 1.015 to the power of 8. So I've got to take this button, which is the power of 8. And then I've got to multiply that by the original value, 330. And that gives me 371.742. Three, 742 dot 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 I think that was correct yep. 74255 okay and of course that will give you this, the same thing right now it says if the question didn't have this sentence at the end give your answer correct to the nearest dollar I would have to write my, my answer as 371 point74. Okay, two decimal places, because it's currency, it's not an exact answer. It's not an integer answer. But it says, give your answer correct to the nearest dollar. I've got to round to the nearest unit, which is $372. Okay, that's a very important point there. Okay, let's be part one. And then it says, see, this is actually the, the compound interest. The compound percentage tells you the whole new value, the increased value. Okay, the simple interest formula will tell you just the interest. Okay, the interest formula for simple interest is I, so interest equals PRT over 100. Okay, P is the original amount, R is the rate, T is the number of years, and I is the amount of extra interest. Whereas here, V in this formula is the total new value, the increased amount. So that 330 now becomes 372. The interest here would be $72, okay? Sorry, $42, the difference between the original amount and the amount it's become. So find the amount of interest that Annie has after the eight years as a percentage of the 330. So the, the interest, as we just said, is the 
final amount, I'm going to write it in its more accurate form first, minus the original amount, which was 330. Okay, and saying as a percentage of the 330. So we've got to take this value, whatever it becomes. Okay, so we're going to take this value. Okay, so I'll do 37, I'll take this, my, oh, actually it was 371.74. See that? You've got to be very careful about things like this. I'm taking the original amount, which was 371.74. Okay, so you take the original amount. That's why it's a good idea to leave things in your calculator. Okay, don't press you know, cancel button after you finish because sometimes you need that again. Minus 330. That gives you 41.74. Okay, so that's 41.74 over. Okay, that's that's the that's the interest. Okay, so find the amount of interest. Remember, look, it's got um, bold type. Make you pay attention to. The answer you got is not the interest. The answer you got was the whole new amount. You want just the interest, which is the difference. Okay, that's the interest, but that's not our answer. You want to find it as a percentage of the 330. So after the word of comes the denominator. So you're going to make a fraction. You're going to take the interest, which is 41.74, over the original amount, 330, percentage of the 330. And that's a fraction. You want to change that into a percentage, so you multiply by 100 and you leave the percent as your unit. So you've got this value here, which again I kept in my calculator value, divided by 330, and then you multiply that by 100%. Just multiply it by 100, and you've got 12.649, 12.649, which is like 12.6%, and that's the end of this particular part of the question. Okay, that's question number one, B part, sorry, question number, we get one B part two, that's all of one A and B done, and I'll do the rest of the question on a separate video. Thank you for listening, and stay tuned.